Hi guys, how is it going? And welcome back to a new React tutorial. I know it's been a while since we looked into the React tutorial, but here it is. Uh, we will take a look at this React to print um, library, which is quite popular as well, as you can see here. So what it does is that it has the ability to print out the content that is basically shown inside the React component. Whatever that we can see on the screen, we can just print those out or save it as PDF format. So now let's just take a look at the quick demo before we get into the coding part. So here you can see that this is what it looks like uh, with this content. And when I click on this print this out, you can see that we have all of the content that is just shown on the screen with the content inside this uh, PDF file. And we have the ability to save this as the PDF as you can see right here. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here you can see that this is the code that I just got from when I click on this edit on the code sandbox, if you wonder where I get it from. And now let's just take a look at this one here. So uh, the component accept this uh, following prop. So it has different type of properties as you can see right here. And it the type can be functions, can be Boolean string, and this is the description of each of the uh, property. So now, uh, let's just take a look at this uh, print context consumer. So uh, what it does, it try to uh, we if we want to have like the extra control over the printing, then uh, if you don't want to specify any trigger directly, then this uh, will allow us to do that. And um, for what about the React to print? So this is only for the uh, functional components. And in this video, we will look at or use the functional component because uh, we've uh, been using the React hooks uh, for a while now, which is the latest versions of the React. And we will use this one as well. So use this uh, React to print hook, uh, which accept an object with the same configuration as this one. But uh, this return a handle print function, which can be uh, triggered with the uh, print action, and is the quite the uh, 16.8.0 uh, asked for the React, and this is for uh, from the 16.3 for the React uh, co uh, print uh, context uh, consumer. Okay, so this is the example. Uh, this what uh, calling from the class component. So this is what it's look like. I think we will also use uh, uh, probably I show you both the class component as well as the functional component. And now let's just take a quick look first. So this is the uh, what it does. It when we click on this, it try to call the trigger. So we'll then uh, we will be able to print this out. So this is um, the calling from the class component with the print context consumer. And this one here is the functional components. So you can also see the difference with this as well. And there is no render function as you can see compared to this one right here. So this is the class component with com that come with the function. And we will use this one. So this is the React to uh, uh, use React to print with this kind of example as you can see here. So this is the uh, we use the use ref with the handle print and this is the um, component itself where we can just click on the button to print the component uh, whatever that is shown in the component. And now let's just take a quick uh, copy uh, of this one which is the first one. So right now, uh, inside the our React component, I just say this as hi guys, and let's just take a look at the this one. It's very simple as you can see here. We have React render, and this is the example right here. So now let's just um try to install this library. All right, so it has been installed as you can see, and I also have the uh, starting the React application again. Let me just close this one right here. All right, so here it is. Now let me just try to copy everything from here. Just copy that and paste it down here. 
along with this class right here and the same one as this just copy that and then um, paste it right here and I'm going to comment this out because right now we are using the class components okay so uh, I think that's it let me just save this and take a look at the screen right here alright so here it is uh, we have this content with the columns and also with the data so when I click on this you will see that this is the pop-up window and we have this ability to save this as the PDF file as you can see right here uh, save this as PDF and this is quite straightforward as you can see the, with this uh, library now let me just uh, quickly do the functional components which is this one so um, I think I'm going to go directly with using the uh, use react to print so let me just copy this one so uh, you can see the difference is that right now uh, we're going to use the uh, use ref while for the previous one not at all um, let me just copy this bit right here with the use ref um, same as this one we use like to print with the detail right here let me just remove this and the example I can copy everything as well and then replace this alright so here we have the example right here for the functional component and here it is should be fine now let me just click on this to print this out yep as expected it is working fine with this content so now uh, since we are using the dummy data that coming from the library now let me just uh, try to change it using uh, my own data like uh, I'm going to just put like a diff let me just find the uh, dummy data on the internet first and then we come back to this alright so here I'm inside this website and um, I can just click on this to generate the re random dummy text so um, here you can see let me just copy this front part and then put it inside this react I'm going to put this under another diff tag and then save it so now here we have this information okay now let's just go back and try to close this and see what we can see right here so here we have all of this um, you can see this is all the text and when I click on this to print this out so here you can see that we have all of the information so you might be wondering uh, what about if the I change the font to a very large font size and what happened to that now let's just uh, try to do it here I'm going to call use this style with the font size I'm going to set this as um, around 60 pixel quite big just uh, try it again so here you can see that we have all of this which is very large and when I click on this and now let's just find out alright so here you can see that when we try to put this and um, this is exactly what we can see right here so what about if it goes to the next uh, uh, it's too big it will just go to the next page as you can see here this is quite flexible and um, it's uh, very useful as well okay so what about the next step I come here to my uh, website and I'm going to just copy some of the other text as well so probably this one here react learning passive and active I'm just uh, gonna copy everything and then uh, put some other text in here so here this is it and 
this time I'm going to just put change the color the text color uh, this one would be the blue color say like this let's just come back so here we have the blue text with this information I think the text here is too large uh, let me just change that to around 40 pixel I guess try that again alright so this is a little bit better now let's just print this out and find out okay so here we have this uh, for the pixel and even with the color even though we change that it still show up it as blue and um, what about the next one uh, I think that uh, what I need to do is to basically have an image so that's a great idea let's just put an image and see if we also have the ability to print the image out as well so um, here this is the about page of mine and this is the image itself let me just open this image in a new tab so here we have this link let me just copy this link and put the image tag down here image with the source of the link right here let me save this and see again so here we have the image we have the two text um, let me also change this one as well the color probably green for this one green okay so this is what it look like it's just an example I know it's look a little bit messy here uh, let me just print this out and let's see if we get the image as well here it is we have the image we have the text uh, but one thing is that you can see the image is not showing properly we have a little bit of margin here while this one is not let me now just fix that one so here uh, what I need to do very quickly just put width equal to a hundred percent so that would fix the issue let's just try again and here you can see we have a little bit of margin right here same as this one and let's try it again alright so here it is you can see this is the text uh, because the image is quite large it just goes to the next page and with the margin right here so now let me just save this uh, PDF file and put it and show you the PDF or the result that is shown in the PDF itself okay so once I click on the save button and navigate to this I put it inside this react uh, projects and let me just save this all right so here this is the file uh, react PDF dot PDF let me just open this one up and here it is we have this uh, with the text with all of the text here and this is the image the quality is quite good as well you can see here and the image itself it's only a hundred and fifty kilobyte which is um, quite small and we can just use this to print out to the printer let's just say Control P then we can just select the printer that we have here and we will have the ability to print this one out so that um, is the ability of using this um, react and this is quite useful as you can see and uh, the number is just increasing from week to week and I think that uh, pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you learned uh, how to use this it is quite straightforward and if you have any question let me know we have a lot more option here as well uh, for the each of the properties but uh, we haven't really looked into this and uh, for this one we can also have the ability to change this and um, I think that uh, we haven't really looked into the coding part let's just take a quick moment probably a few uh, minutes before I finish this video so what we have here is the react to print and we use the use uh, react to print 
and um, right here we call the use ref which we import from the react itself so we just put into like a variable and this is the uh, where we can just use this as like a function with the uh, react to print uh, which we imported from the uh, library itself so once we have the function so what inside the function we have the components ref which is the current one we use the uh, current reference and here we have the the function so once we have that so this is the uh, component to print which is right here whatever that is inside this uh, component then we will be able to uh, then reference to the current one now we have that we can just click on this button then it will just do the printing or this pop-up window as you can see and um, that's pretty much how this code works uh, hope you actually enjoy uh, with this tutorial and if you have any question just let me know again and uh, I'll try to answer as uh, much as possible and see you guys in the next video